Hey, what's up, guys? So um, today I met Larry Holmes again. Actually, I don't know if he remembers. I already met him before. Um, I took care of a friend of his in an emergency room, and he came to the hospital and visited. A lot of people don't remember me because, you know, I, I may look different or whatever. When I'm wearing glasses, not wearing glasses or whatever, I don't know, whatever. So it was more focused on his friend. So it's pretty cool. What I've learned, I, I can... I'm no, I'm nowhere near, let me put this, I'm nowhere near bragging because I know people who met way more celebrities than I have, way more celebrities. But the fact of the matter, I could honestly say I've met a few celebrities in my um, short lifetime. I'm not saying I met super, super big ones, but um, I'm, I could honestly say I've met a few celebrities. I met a few uh, um, people who are celebrities either in their field or celebrities just in general or people who are uh, you know, high up in certain companies. And one thing I've learned about celebrities, they're just like you and me. They're just like, they're no different than you and me. It's funny. They have to put on, and I'm not saying anything bad about anybody. I'm not going to, but they have to put on a persona, of course. We all do to a certain extent. I don't care. No one can claim they keep 100% real every single time. What do I mean by that? Um, there's just plenty of times you want to tell your boss, fuck yourself, but you never said it. That's not keeping it real. At some point, we got to just hold in our thoughts and, you know, um, you know, not project our real feelings because we know very well people are human. They're not going to perceive your feelings um, the way you wanted to perceive it and actually take value in your feelings. And you may have an adverse outcome, i.e. get fired or have something else happen. So what I like about celebrity and also when you put certain things that the same reason I say I don't put all my thoughts out in on Facebook, i.e. Donald Trump, Donald Trump. Um, there are consequences to putting all your thoughts out there. Don't get me wrong. You have a right to your thoughts, but when you put them out in public, there's certain things you put at risk anyway. So that's why I don't put all my thoughts and some thoughts I'm okay with being controversial. Um, and there are some thoughts if I have, I talk to people one-on-one, -on -one, I'm not going to put them out in public, but there are consequences. Now, if you, it, it depends. If you run a multi-million organization, million dollars organization, you got to think about what opinions you're going to put out there. Okay. You really do have to think about what you say to people. You just can't walk around in this world saying or doing whatever you want. You just can't. Donald Trump. Hello. Anyway. So, um, what was the point of me saying that? My whole point is that, um, oh, him and I were talking and he didn't believe I was 20. That was kind of cool. And it's funny. He was saying a couple of things. I'm like, wow, he's just like the rest of us. He is literally just like the rest of us with some of his thoughts and concerns and everything. And some of the things he said to me, it was kind of awesome. You know, of course, you know, you have to say certain things, but it's kind of cool. And I've and I can say the same thing about other celebrities. When you talk to certain celebrities one-on-one -on -one about how they really feel about whether it's political issues or personal issues or interpersonal issues or what, how they feel about their haters online. You know, you have some celebrities <laughs> who would not respond to uh, would haters harass them online. They keep it all positive. But you talk to one on one, they're like, fuck those people. You know, I don't give a shit about them. I, I really want to say X, Y and Z, but I can't say that because I know it will affect my audience. It is funny. You hear what they really want to say, but they're not saying. So it's kind of cool meeting up with uh Larry Holmes. I didn't meet up with him. It was randomly I saw him. I went to Heritage Day. I live in Easton, the same um, place with Larry Holmes. And I saw him walking down the street. I was like, oh, there go Larry Holmes. It was pretty awesome. So, but it was kind of cool shooting it with him. And one of my good friends, Rich Williams, is um, uh, pretty much a, a famous DJ here in Easton. And and in his uh, in his field, he's a very famous DJ. And it was kind of cool because he took random pictures of Larry Holmes and I just shooting the shit. Literally just shooting the shit. Two of them we posed and one of you, he, we were just shooting, just talking. It was kind of cool with me. But overall, I just want to say celebrities are just like you and me. Only thing that celeb separates celebrities, to be totally honest, from the rest of us is uh pretty much i would say two things they they do the thing they have this thing called discipline hard work to get things done um um that's pretty much i mean i, I shouldn't even say this too that's the only thing you know they still have thoughts just like you and me they have lazy days like you and me they get pissed off like you and me they have uh um you know uh, weaknesses like you and i the only difference is is that they choose um you know to, yes, they have those days, but they have this hard work and discipline that pushes them through and they and that gets them to where they are. I'll be totally honest. That's the only difference between celebrities and you and I is, is, is that they have the discipline to get pushed through. And what I see my celebrities, that's a very broad term because uh, 
people who are successful in their field, whatever the word success, you choose what successful means. Success doesn't always mean famous. There are people who are very good at what they're doing. They have all these professorships and awards, whatever. You wouldn't know who they are, but they're successful in their own little community. Like if you say their name at their old, at their college, they consider, oh, that's successful. Not everybody, when I say the word successful, means you're on CNN or ABC or people know you in Japan. Successful means, you know, whatever you have your goals, if you're able to achieve your goals to the fullest, then you are successful. Some people are only famous in their own little circle. You know, I don't consider myself, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm well known in my own little circle here in the Lehigh Valley in the fitness world. Like, you step outside of Lehigh Valley, no one knows who Doc Beast is within Lehigh Valley. A lot of people know who I am because I, I do a lot of, I participate in a lot of local CrossFit competitions and I work at a lot of the hospitals in the area. So, Outside of Lehigh Valley, no one knows who I am. And Lehigh Valley is like a 40-mile radius, small area of Pennsylvania. You know, outside of this 40-mile radius, no one knows who Doc Beast is or Dr. Perry is. So am I successful? Well, I don't know. I, to me, I'm happy where I am, so I'm successful. But I'm not totally happy because I still want to push myself. I still think, I still know I have a lot more work to do. I have a lot more lives to change. So I'm not satisfied, you know, but I'm on my way to success. You know, um, so anyway, I just want to say celebrities are awesome and, you know, it's all good. Peace out.